upset the number two team in the country. Iowa State with the hilt magic today. going and the three-pointers flow, Iowa State is tough to beat. She plays the Iowa State way. The Iowa State way is, is unique and special and something that uh, uh, is going to provide great value to a young person. It's about understanding you a part of something truly, truly special. That, that Iowa State Athletics, to, to wear a Cardinal and Gold, to be a part of the, the Cyclone family is unique and special and something that lasts a lifetime. And in between quarters, they were honoring some of the alumni who have played here at Iowa State, and it is a who's who of oh, Cyclone basketball. It's fun to see all these players back. I mean, that's what makes this atmosphere so special here. We have to find a unique person, uh, someone who understands the culture, uh, the history, the tradition. Uh, we want someone that, that really wants to be great, someone that uh, sees a vision and a future for themselves and to be a part of something bigger than themselves. And you know, obviously that encompasses being a great student, being a great basketball player, being a great teammate, uh, and being a part of this community. Uh, the, the, because of our fan base, we need someone that really can connect and, and understand that uh, they're a very, very important person on this campus and in this community. So uh, it's a very special person to place here. And, uh, we only want special people wearing an Iowa State jersey. Dishes it off, baseline jumper buried by Shauna Johnson. That's another three. What can't Shauna Johnson do? Just a terrific scorer and rebounder, and oh yeah, she can also hit threes. Iowa State is going to the finals. They win at 75-69. They hit some critical shots. They got the defensive stops that they needed, and they are heading to the Big 12 championship final. The Big 12's leading scorer in Ashley Jones, who averaging just under 21 points and 11 rebounds, the top rebounding guard in the Big 12. A couple of onlys to her credit, the only player in the nation averaging over 20 points and over 10 rebounds, and the only player in the Big 12 in the top five in points and rebounds. something special at Iowa State and today will be no different. A crowd of nearly 10,000 expected to be inside Hilton Coliseum. A good look at the crowd in attendance. There have been people in Hilton Coliseum since 11 o'clock this morning. I talked to some of the students and asked them how long they had to wait for those seats. I said a long time. But it's <laughs> worth it. I've never seen anything like it. Um, the emotional attachment that our fans have to our players, what Iowa State Cyclone basketball means to people. If they are one of the best supported teams in the country in Ames, Iowa, they love their women's basketball. When you start out 22 years ago, there's 300 people at your first game, and now you know we're around 10,000. It's because our fans really appreciate and they see daughters, granddaughters, nieces. They see people that they connect to, that they get to know. They see them in the community and uh, they understand how hard they've worked and, and I think our players appreciate that. I'm privileged to, to play with the best in the country, for the best coaches in the country, and in front of the best fans in the country. I am extremely grateful for you and thanks for making Ames a town I will never forget. It's been an honor to be a part of the Cyclone family. I feel blessed to have many great memories to cherish for the rest of my life. I love the person and player that I have become. I wouldn't want to be standing here in front of anyone else. I have been blessed tremendously, and I thank God daily for unfolding his great plan. Iowa State has been made special to me through the people I've met and the relationships I've gained. This is a great environment for women's college basketball. He has created all of that and built it from nothing to what it is right now. Facilities are a huge part of, of what you do. Obviously, we play in a great place at Hilton Coliseum. Uh, the Sukup facility has been great for us. We have our own gym. The court looks just like Hilton. But as a basketball player, the idea that, hey, I get my own place to come and I can play, and if I want to go upstairs on a weekend and watch a movie with my friends, we have a beautiful theater room, uh, just hang out in the lounge and do homework, whatever, 
But the idea that I have a place to make my skill sets better on my own, again, it, it, it was a vision from the administration to understand for student athletes to be successful, you have full-time academic con component. You can major in anything you want. The academic support is great. Uh, and I tell our players, you know, we're going to do everything we can to make sure that you achieve what you want. You have a full-time strength and conditioning person who can monitor not just how strong they get, but their nutrition and, and their health on a daily basis and, and guide us as coaches. You know, we hired our own strength and conditioning coach. We're one of the very few programs in the country uh, that has that. But now Sandra is running that and has done an amazing job. As a strength and conditioning coach, you are trying to make them a better basketball player, but that includes many different forms of training. We have everything that we need. We have all the equipment. We have a, a floor space that's attached right to the right to the weight room, basically. And that just allows for better programming in general. We can use the floor, then we can go into the weight room and come back out onto the floor. You're not restricted in any way. It's extremely rewarding. Um, having just one team, you get to really get to know the girls and build that relationship with them. And with that relationship comes their trust in listening to what you say and doing the things that you ask them to do. And it's just, it's a better connection when you only have 14 girls to, to train. And boy, Iowa State has come to play today. The stage is set inside the Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City for the finals of the 2019 Big 12 Women's Basketball Championship. Iowa State and Baylor are playing for this. What a terrific game. Both these teams battling hard. And Jones pops it up and in, and we are knotted at 37. Middleton shows. Nice spin move to the hole, oh, Alexa Middleton. Spinning and wheeling and dealing inside. What a move. We all want to find players, uh, student athletes, that want to challenge themselves. And, and we, the term we use is don't settle for anything. Anything in your life, whether it's your personal decisions, your academic decisions, your basketball decisions. You know, we need people that want to go out and play against Baylor and Texas. Iowa State has upset the Texas Longhorns. 8-0 run by Iowa State. Devin O, they've outscored Baylor here in the fourth, and the run goes 10-0. Wow, Coach Fenley was fired up. I had goosebumps. I was fired up. He looked at his players and he said, how much fun is this? Everybody is at home watching you guys. You are playing the best team in the country straight up. Johnson for three, got it! Iowa State has taken the lead. There's some hill magic in the air today, Ron. I tell our players, uh, the next level is professional. Uh, that's how high this is in, in the history of our league. And our league leads the country in attendance every year. Our teams have done great in the NCAA tournament. Uh, it, it's a challenging situation. So you want players that understand that. Uh, want to stick their nose in there and compete against the best. So here she is, just a little bit of a jab step and a crossover pulling it back. So that's a professional level move, and there are some professional scouts here today. Before the game, Bridget Carlton got her Big 12 Player of the Year award. Bridget Carlton is having an outstanding senior season, leading the Big 12 in scoring and steals, and incredibly versatile. She's in the top 10 in rebounds, assists, free throw percentage, block shots. She can play every position on the floor. Lacey. <laughs> you see why it's so tough to win here, man? You see what happens when they start lighting it up? At the end of the four years, it's going to be the best experience you've ever had. And you always told us that when we'd, you know, we'd leave Iowa State, we'd always wish we would be able to come back and play. And there's nothing I wouldn't give to come back. I'd give back a WNBA championship to come and play for you again. Just one more time. Iowa State has been to more NCAA tournaments than any team in the Big 12 since 1997. So it's a great place and I can't, I mean, I can't imagine being anywhere else except for here and part of the Cyclone family. But they are one of the best supported teams in the country. In Ames, Iowa, they love their women's basketball. The dean of the Big 12 coaches and his voice is just a trendsetter in women's basketball because 
Everyone looks to emulate what he has done with this program at Iowa State. Iowa State's a great place, and part of the reason they're great is, is the women's basketball and the way we represent our school, the way we can further the image and, and further what this university stands for. And a lot of people talk about athletics being the front porch uh, of a university, of a home, and we want to be a part of that. This is a great environment for women's college basketball. He has created all of that and built it from nothing to what it is right now. We want people to say, hey, Women's basketball is a great program and, and we want to find people who understand that, believe that, and live that on a daily basis because this is truly a special place made of special people. It's senior day. It's health magic. This is really special to play with such heart here in the second half. Just remarkable. That is vintage Iowa State basketball.